Hey everybody, today we are going to assemble the Haas Tools Garden Seeder. To do that, we're going to need a few different tools. We need a 7 16 inch wrench and Phillips screwdriver. We need some wood glue and some boiled linseed oil. So let's get started. The first thing we'll do is apply the boiled linseed oil. This helps to protect and preserve the wood. So using a cloth to apply the oil, make sure that you get a good even coat on all the surfaces of the wood. Once you've worked in the oil a little bit and have it fully covered, set the wood aside to dry for 10 minutes before moving forward. Next, we're going to attach the handles to the metal frame. And to do that, please pay attention to the handles. There's obviously a left and a right side handle, and you're going to want to make sure you get that right now. To attach the handles, I found it was easiest to start with the bottom carriage bolt first. This is going to allow us to have a pivot point to add in the second carriage bolt in just a moment. So here the handle supports itself, and now we can use that hinge to help support the handle as we add in the second carriage bolt. Now the second carriage bolt does have a height adjustment. It allows you to adjust the height. I'm a pretty short guy, so I'm just gonna let this go all the way down. Now one note about the carriage bolts. If you're not familiar with these, notice that the square hole matches the square head on the carriage bolt. So make sure that you seat the carriage bolt properly down into the square hole that is provided. You're going to see the same situation on the adjustable carriage bolt. That square head fits into the sliding area. Make sure that you seat the bolt properly so that you get a good tight fit with your carriage bolt. Next, we're going to add the wood glue into the mortises of the handles so that we can add in the support dowel. When you add in the support dowel, give it a little twist to help spread the glue around and make sure that it's firmly seated into the handles. Now we'll add a screw onto each side of the handle and that will complete assembling the handles. Next, we need to look at the depth adjustment knob. See how mine wiggles around a lot? In shipment, the nut that goes under that actually fell out. So we're going to have to push down on the disc assembly and insert the nut back into place using a screwdriver to fine tune where it belongs and then add in the depth adjustment knob. You'll see once it sets into place everything settles and snaps into place and now we can actually adjust the depth of our discs appropriately. So if you look here you can see that the depth gauge is moving and what it's moving are the discs down below here and you can see them extending further down so that we can get the right depth. Last I want to mention to you about the seed hopper. You want to make sure that you adjust this. Mine came shipped with the hole pointing down into an empty area in the frame. But if we adjust it just a little bit, now we have the hole pointed toward the tube that goes down into the discs. Then you can add in your seed disc. And don't forget to put in the cone like I did. Add in your brush and then put the wing nut back on. But when you put the wing nut back on, remember to follow the instructions. Do not over tighten. Otherwise, your brush will inhibit the disc from spinning properly. Thank you all for watching. We'll see you next time.